Hi children, welcome back. So again in this video we are going to discuss the continuation of the last video. That is we have stopped, uh, we have discussed the different uh, states of the matter in the last video. What are the atoms we have discussed and even we had a small introduction of the molecule also. Then uh, in this we are going to uh, uh, learn about in, the, uh, in detail. Okay, Matter, the types of matter are three. See, states of matter are also three. What are the states of the matter? Solid, liquid and the gases. Now we are learning the types of the matter. One is element. Next one is compounds. And third one is the mixture. Then what are these elements, compounds we will learn uh, thoroughly? We will learn in this video. First of all, to learn these all, we must understand or we must start from the atoms. What are the atoms? Atoms are the smallest or the tiny particles of the matter. Matter may be of any kind, any name, whatever it may be. Okay, the atoms means the smallest particle of the matter or a tiny particle, small particles of the matter. Then what are these molecules? When one or two atoms will combine, one more than two atoms will combine, they are going to form a one type of substance there, which gives the same property. Okay. That is called as the molecule. Molecules are the smallest particle of a substance that has all the properties of that substance is called as the molecule. I will give you a small example. Chocolate. You will eat the chocolate. If you break the chocolate in between and you will, if you eat, you will get the same taste. If you eat whole chocolate, like biting, one uh, bite, you know, biting, you will get the same taste taste. If you get a small part of the chocolate upside and small part of the chocolate downside, if you eat, you will get the same taste, smell, same smell, same flavor in your mouth. You will get the same because that chocolate is the best example because small part or big part or a whole chocolate, all the small parts in the chocolate has the one property which the whole chocolate has. Okay, this is how the molecules, molecules means that may be a small, small part, atoms have, atoms have combined, but those all molecules are having the same property of that substance, as I have given you the chocolate. Other than chocolate, you can take milk, if you have the drop of a milk, the taste and the properties of in this one drop of the milk will be same, whereas the whole glass of the milk has the same property. So this is what the molecule and next we have element the first type of the matter is the element then what is this element element is matter that is made up of only one ingredient how it is see um, we have a carbon in our nature there is a carbon if I burn something on my gas, I will get a black color and the smell will be, uh, I will get the smell. Then that is the carbon, okay. Uh, if after burning uh, all the substances which have the carbon will turn into the black. Hmm. Then this carbon is made up of only one ingredient. There is a carbon in this room, okay. The whole carbon is made up of only one type of ingredient that is the carbon again. Carbon, carbon, carbon. These carbons are going to form a carbon. This is what the element. Same, similarly, oxygen. What we are taking inside now. Oxygen. The chemical formula of the oxygen is O2. Then O2 means what? Two O's have to combine in that. O plus O is going to form O2. That O2 is the oxygen. In that oxygen, we have two O's. Again the O and O both are same only. Send it. Only one ingredient is there. There. H and H. H2. It is hydrogen. Hydrogen gas may be there. Hydrogen may be there in the liquid form also. Then H and H. Only one type of ingredient is there. See children, I can give you a small, a simple example again. We have a chilli powder. Okay. In that chilli powder, chilli powder is made up of the red chillies. Red chilli that may be one sack of chilli, one full uh, amount, one quintal of chillies. But only one type of ingredients are there. No, Chillies means all are same which are red in color and they are very spicy. We can't eat that because 
that all the chilies, the tons together, the kgs together chili have the only one ingredient that is they all are spicy and they all have red. So this is what the elements where the matter, element is a matter, it is made up of only one ingredient. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, etc. Nitrogen also will come. And then this elements we have two types. One is non-metallic element and another one is metallic. Metallic means you can uh, you can uh, guess that metals. Metals which are the metals? We are wearing the gold, silver, iron, okay, copper. These all are the metals. Okay, we will discuss in the next. Non-metallic elements are those this carbon oxygen and uh, hydrogen nitrogen these all are called as the non metallic because in this chem in this uh, elements there is no not at all any connection of the metals okay so these are called as the non metallic elements then metallic elements are copper iron gold and silver because they have the properties of the metals Okay, these are not having the properties of the metals. So, this copper, iron, gold, silver are the metallic elements. These metallic elements, these are going to combine. These may combine. See, if I want a um, uh, gold ornaments, okay. If I get a, a pure gold, it is not possible to make an ornament. With the gold, some type, some amount of copper should be mixed to prepare the ornament gold ornament what we are using this bangle this bangle is not a pure gold okay this is mixed with some amount of copper so like this mixing this metallic um, elements can be mixed together these are called as the compounds when well, compounds are the elements where this that may be a metallic or non-metallic elements where more than two elements have mixed they have mixed it together to form a, uh, another one new uh, substance. Those are called as the compounds. Uh, in these compounds, the ratio will not be the any um, fixed ratio. Okay, that ratio may vary uh, com uh, depending upon their amount of the production. So this may be the metallic uh, compound, gold plus. Uh, copper or silver plus iron or iron plus copper so like this we will mix many type of elements to form the compounds which are required for us okay so like this chemically also we are going to mix for example what is compounds hmm. compounds uh, are the elements always join in the fixed ratio this uh, in the mixture there is no ratio for the elements to join but in the compound the uh, these elements are going to join in a fixed ratio for example a drop of water we want to see uh, sorry uh, in a in a drop of water if i take a small drop to check every molecule has h2 o that is two hydrogen and one oxygen that is only going to form the water molecule if I uh, change the H2 and O4, it, is, it will be not the water, it will be the other substance. So, compounds are, of course, these are, uh, these will, uh, two, uh, two elements will join, but ratio will be, the mixture of, uh, ratio of the mixture will be in a fixed H2O. But in the mixture, no, there is no fixed ratio, as I told you earlier. Two or more substances can combine that may be metals, that may be non-metallic or that may be some other substances. They will mix with uh, no de uh, definite uh, ratio. That is, uh, there is no definite ratio that I, am, I have to mix this much, I have to mix this much. No definite ratio. These are called as the mixtures. I hope you all have got the clear picture about the elements compounds and the mixtures okay so in the next we are going to discuss about how do we are going to how do we are going to get the symbols of the different uh, substances like as i told you there will be a mixture mixture means that may be the mixture of the metallic things or the metallic elements or non-metallic elements that the mixture may be chemically or physically. Okay, the definition of the mixture, 
टू और मोर सब्सटेंसेस मिक्स टूगेदर फिजिकली बट रेशियो इज नॉट फिक्सड एंड केमिकली दे आर नॉट एट ऑल प्रॉपरली मिक्सड ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई विल टेक वन ग्लास ऑफ वॉटर इन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू मिक्स द सैंड वॉट द सैंड physically even we can see physically i am going to mix the sand after some time sand will settle down in the bottom and then if i am uh, after mixing the sand i am going to mix the oil the oil is going to flow or float on the water then chemically also they have mixed very uh, in a small amount and uh, physically i can see the first layer is oil middle one is uh, water and last one is the sand this is how the mixture means mixing of more than two elements or compounds okay that may be uh, physically also i can mix and chemically also they may mix and they may not mix and ratio is not at all uh, fixed in this so like this we can get mixing uh, of more than two compounds or more than two substances i can get which i have which i am required or i may get sometimes which are unrequired also so this is about the mixture then we have the symbols the symbols are like nitrogen n okay i can write down n for the nitrogen carbon c already we have discussed we have seen in this and the uh, h hydrogen okay yes sulfur uh carbon o2 oxygen so like this uh, we have neon neon is a one type of gas that is neon okay um um silver and gold and iron f e this is the iron symbol okay uh iron so these symbols this n c h s o2 neon and f e and gold a g we call as a gold and uh, so like this we call these symbols as a atomic symbols atomic atomic symbols so these symbols of course you know you will learn these all in your uh, next um, higher classes but these are the introduction part how we are going to use the symbols okay these symbols because there are so many types of compounds elements non metallic metallic okay uh, so we will get confusion that what is oxygen then we cannot write the whole oxygen isn't it so instead of writing that one instead of because to avoid the confusion we use these symbols for example two symbols have joined what what we are going to get the next product or new product i hope you all have understood whatever we have discussed in this video channel and uh, before ending i will give you example uh, sorry uh, questions you have to solve those questions that will be the your homework uh, write down what are the types of the matter first question what are the elements example what are the compounds example what are the mixtures and example and you can write down 115 15 atomic symbols and their names you can search and write you may, if you you may get in your textbook also children i hope you will enjoy this video and you will understand whatever we have discussed in this video and um, we shall meet in the next video till then take care bye bye